Hi, it's Ashira Star Goddess. I'm back. Okay, so I want to talk about the show American Gods. Okay, if y'all don't know that show, it's on Stars, and it's fairly new. It's only like four or five episodes, I think. I don't know, but I watched them all so far, and I really like the show because there's a lot of truth in there, um, a lot of hidden symbolism, a lot of messages, and basically it's. Um, about the old gods versus the new gods. The new gods being technology and the media, the old gods being the, the folklords and, you know, the old stories of, you know, like um, the ancient gods. So um, it's in the modern time and I don't really want to give anything away, but the concept that the media and technology is the new gods, one, to show people that you know what you give your attention to what you value what you put first um, you know shows you know what you worship what you um, what you respond to okay so if media and technology is the new God then you know what comes from that you know what comes from that what comes from worshiping technology you know I, I kind of think like the movie the matrix how in the future everything was like robots and technology and they kind of turned against the humans I think that's a little bit far-fetched I don't think technology is going to turn against humans I think that humans are going to become so dependent on technology that it's going to feel like <laughs> it's going to feel like, you know, we're less capable than technology. You know what I mean? Um, so, in a sense, you know, we, and back in the old days, we memorized everyone's phone numbers that we talked to on the phone. We just memorized them. It was very easy. Or we had a little phone book, but we knew the number by heart, you know. Now, you can't recite anyone's phone number unless it's your own or your mom's, you know. Um, so, it's kind of making people use less of their brain, actually, which, you know, if you're going to evolve physically, you need to be using more of your brain, which is why spirituality is so important. Meditation is so important. Visualization is so important. Um, working with uh, manifesting is so important because you're still using your mind and your brain and um, things like that. But I do also believe that technology is good and bad, you know, it's a tool. So um, you have those people who are afraid of technology, they think, oh yeah, everybody's spying on us. And that's true, everybody is spying on us. And you know, unless there's something that you really don't want to share with the world, I don't feel like, you know, I do sometimes feel like, okay, well, probably listening in, in on my conversation, but what am I talking about? I'm not talking about anything that I'm trying to keep a secret. You know, I do have a YouTube channel. <laughs> um, you know, I, I'm not into any type of illegal activity. So, you know, whatever they, you know, whatever knowledge they can get from me on the phone or information they can get from me on the phone, it's probably for consumerism. You know, what can I send her on Facebook as an ad to get her to buy? What can I put on her Instagram? What can I put on YouTube video for her to buy? That That's all they're getting information for is money. You know, uh, advertisers, uh, what, what you can market to me. You know, everything is about money. Money is also um, one of the gods. It's not a new god, but it is one of the gods, actually, <laughs> because people really respond to that. Um, so the show is a really good show if you like symbolism. Um, it is 18 and up, so it has a lot of nudity in it, so be careful if you have kids. Um, I don't I don't let my kids watch it because there's too much nudity. Uh, but that's how all shows start off in the beginning, and then they kind of ease up on the nudity. They just do that to get you in, you know. I don't, you know, sex sales, I don't know. That's probably another god. Uh, <laughs> but... Um, yeah, the show, like, there's different gods in the show that you'll recognize or, you know, they'll say their name. Some of them, they won't say their name. You'll have to kind of figure it out who they are. Um, but it's a very interesting show, you know. And the future and the past often merge 
and usually there's something that has to give you know or you know the old gods always die you know just like Zeus and all the ancient gods are no longer worshipped today in you know in the way that they used to be that's how the gods of today are going to be in you know who knows how long and they're already t trying to fade out you know what I'm saying with religion and all that kind of stuff kind of fading out and that's just how it's going to be you know um then the new gods will be more uh I feel like modern you know there are humans that are living on the planet who would qualify as gods if you know people are influenced by them if they worship them if they look you know oh my god if they're influenced and, and they uh, worship them in some type of way I feel like celebrities are the gods of modern time or the politicians are the gods of modern time you know the musicians are the gods of modern time and I feel like because they have so much influence and things like that and we can see them anytime we want you know via technology then it's almost kind of like they're always with us you know if we want a reference you know uh, we would go and look up a video or an Instagram and and see what they're doing today you know if we need a reference so I feel like the show is kind of showing us where things are headed what the ancient gods are um, still around for you know why they're still around because you know they still are relevant right? if you don't know your past you can't know your future you know what I'm saying so if y'all have not seen that show y'all need to check it out a lot of people um, have told me about it so I went to go watch it like and I was very impressed so I know this is not really conspiracy but the conspiracy would be do you think technology is the new god do you think and do you think people worship celebrities as like demigods do you think that that's what's the future you know um and do you think religion is on its way out or getting stronger or do you think that it's going to change it to something totally different in the future like what do you think um let me know below i really didn't have a strong um subject matter for this conspiracy money i am running out of subjects i am running out of subjects i don't know if i'm going to end this series and start something new a new type of series why don't you guys give me some suggestions um if i were to start a new series like one one video every week on a certain thing what do you think it should be okay i'll see you later bye